Hey everyone, welcome back to CyberSecure TV. Uh, so this week we're gonna continue our API pen test series. Uh, this is episode six and we're gonna talk about the broken authentication and SQL injection. So broken authentication is very common term in the OAS top 10 and which is most like, you know, always applicable to the web applications, right? And when I say broken authentication, there are several vulnerabilities uh, which uh, attackers try to exploit in order to gain advantage and things like credential stuffing, they would try like a brute forcing the passwords or usernames. Uh, it would try like, you know, forgot password uh, weakness, some there is flaw in the forgot password would lead you access to the uh, actual application. The other thing uh, they would also, they might also do is things like session management attacks, like stealing the session tokens, doing the session hijacking. So these things uh, ultimately result in the broken authentication. Now you have mostly seen like, uh, uh, this is very easier to exploit because you can see in the web applications, you, you see the login screen, you try different payloads and then see, uh, you might get some error message on the on the web page, you might get like, you know, blind SQL injection and you capture with the bus suite. So this is all easier. What if uh, you need to find the same vulnerability in the API, but you do not have any UI, it's just the backend API, uh, which does like, you know, communication in the backend uh, and you have been tasked to uh, test it. So there's, there's no web so you can generate and, and proxy the traffic to the burp. So this is where we're gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, go back to our, our previous API implementation and see if we, if there is any broken authentication which we can bypass and gain access. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first off, let me open up the Postman here. And this is the, uh, like an API that we have been using. And if we send the username and password, like, which is of course not the right one and we need to bypass this. Uh, we want to get the session token. So uh, let me uh, capture this traffic uh, with my burp so we can actually see the demo. So here, let's uh, test this one. You, of course you can burp, uh, you can uh, do the active scan, do the passive scan, right? Uh, you can do all sort of things, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send it to repeater. So here, uh, if we send this request here, uh, and yeah, this is change burp UI. So uh, by default, it might look like this. You can cancel this one. And uh, they also have like request response uh, like this, but you can, if you're used to this screen, you can change it to this one. So uh, first off, uh, what I would usually try is uh, applying a single code and see if the, it shows any uh, error messages. Of course, in this case, I don't see anything. So the next thing I'm gonna try is, um, I'm trying to put the uh, SQL injection payload and see if it really works. So how you would usually do is, like uh, the simple uh, SQL query, right? And then you would comment out the remaining thing and that's it, yeah. So this is, okay, I think we are missing uh, something here. Let me, oh, there you go. Yeah, so uh, I did not I did not have to put the single code. So here uh, with this particular payload, uh, of course there was no UI, but uh, you can still exploit not just the username parameter, you can try the same thing in the various headers, um, uh, like including this, like, you know, this payload where, where it says format, because in the APIs, in the UI, it's much simpler because you can see the things here, API you won't, but you can still try all these uh, payloads in, in each and every parameters. Now, since we also scanned it and, and okay, so the burp also detected the SQL injection. Um, it's weird that it's not confident, uh, like by looking at the symbol, you can uh, see that. But here it says like the payload was tried and uh, requ uh, resulted in the different response. And that's why it thinks it's a, uh, there is an SQL injection, right? Okay, and that's why it's not sure. Okay, so with the first one, it actually bypassed and able to get the token. So this is confirm SQL injection. So usually what I'll do is I'll mark it as certain, right? So if you need to uh, uh, submit this report to your client, you can export the report and give it to them. So this is the simplest way of testing uh, the broken authentication piece in the, in the APIs. Uh, in the next video, we'll also learn about some other API attacks, but until then, uh, please hit the like button if you, uh, if you like this video and subscribe. 
uh, to my channel share with your friends and and uh, do follow me on the facebook we post some interesting updates there as well uh, that's all from now uh, thank you so much and i'll see you guys around bye